I'm Anya Forstel, the astrophysics student at the University of Waterloo. Um, people always ask me about the moment I knew I wanted to study astrophysics. And I always answer the same thing. I don't have one exact moment where I knew. It was more of an accumulation of moments. Part of me fell in love with astrophysics the night I looked through a telescope, saw Jupiter's moons, and was overcome with awe. Part of me fell in love with astrophysics the day I finished reading Brian Greene's Fabric of the Cosmos and thought, OK, my mind is officially blown. He made things I thought were impossible seem possible. And part of me fell in love with astrophysics the day I attended one of Chris Hadfield's talks. It was the first time I thought, maybe I'll be an astronaut someday. And I think my parents realized I was falling in love with astrophysics when one day my father was looking for the book he was reading, The Physics of the Impossible by Mikio Kaku, and my mother found it in my room. I was 11 years old. All of these moments confirmed little by little that astrophysics was my passion. As a high school student, it never crossed my mind that I shouldn't enter this field. My parents, family, friends, teachers were all extremely supportive, and there were equal numbers of boys and girls in my math and science classes. I never had to face blatant gender inequality. But when I reached university, I saw something different. Sometimes I'd look up and realize that I was the only woman in a room full of 30 men. And I began to realize that indeed there is gender discrimination, though it is often subtle. It is hidden in the low percentage of females enrolled in STEM, veiled behind words like demanding, bossy, and overbearing, qualities which, when presented by men, would be seen as strength or confidence or fearlessness. <sighs> Thank you. Receiving, receiving the He for She Impact Scholarship was an absolute thrill. It has, of course, been a financial help, but it was much more than that. It gave me the confidence to run for vice president of the physics club twice. <laughs> and also, I am proud to say that uh, although there were low percentages of females on the physics club executive team in the past, as of this past week, uh, the newly elected physics club is composed of just over 50% of women. And so I'm very happy to say that. And a few, a few of those women told me afterwards that they would not have found the courage to run had other women not run alongside them. Um, so the He for She scholarship, as I was saying, gave me the confidence to run for vice president. And it also... Um, <laughs> Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it gave me the courage to run for vice president of the physics club, and it also was a confirmation of my choice to pursue a career that I love. It sparked new conversations both within my university and even as far as China, when I was contacted by someone in the Canadian consulate in Shanghai who wanted to know more about my scholarship. And finally, this scholarship has brought my own thinking about what I can do and what I, how I can be more involved in promoting gender equality in STEM. It encouraged me to participate in much needed conversations on things like bias, inclusion, and equal pay for equal work. We still have a long way to go before we reach equality in STEM. But my hope is that all women and girls will have the confidence to pursue their passions no matter what they are, and that all women and girls will feel not only respected, but welcomed and valued in whatever fields they choose. Thank you. <laughs>